Here's a new clock named Bipolar, an original design not likely to be imitated by any serious clockmaker. She is weight driven, but electromechanical in that the small drive weight is electrically wound every two minutes. The counter swinging pendulums and grasshopper escapement are inspired by John Harrison's first sea clock, which still runs in the Royal Observatory in Greenwich. Clock people will rightly point out that Harrison's clock had spring regulated balances, not compound pendulums as in bipolar. The difference is that his balances were brought to center by springs, not gravity, whereas these compound pendulums are heavier at the bottom and use no springs. Interestingly, tiny forces transmitted through a clock frame will tend to bring twin pendulums into synchronized counter motion, as you see here. Still, Harrison's clocks, and this one, use rigging to ensure symmetrical motion. The escapement, which regulates the movement according to the beat of the pendulums, is a grasshopper design, invented by Harrison, with one pallet riding on each pendulum. Bipolar's motive force is a small conventional weight providing a running time of about two minutes before being automatically rewound by a small electric wind motor. Motor and weight are linked by a Huygens maintaining power loop, which allows the clock to continue running while being wound. The Huygens system requires a light counterweight to maintain tension on the endless loop. In this case, the counterweight is on the left. It is hollow, made to look exactly like the true weight on the right, an optical puzzle for the viewer to figure out. The novel arrangement of the motor drive and maintaining power system created unusual design problems with the clock movement. As a result, the going train of wheels and pinions has to detour sideways around the drive assemblies to reach the front of the clock where the hands turn. This could have been avoided, but that would have required putting the cool stuff out of sight in the back. The dial is made from a printable CD and floats freely on the center arbor. Because the weight cord pulls directly on the escape wheel, not on the usual slow end of the going train, there is enough torque to include a sweep second hand, something unusual in a wood gear clock. There's too much torque, in fact. You'll see excessive backlash or reverse movement on the escape wheel as the pallets engage due to greater than necessary driving force and pendulum mass. This affects the accuracy of the timepiece which could be improved by using lighter pendulum bobs and drive weight. But like some other designs in this collection, this one is not primarily about accuracy. It is about originality, good looks, and visual interest, which I hope you can see in Bipolar.